Four ways to be sure an open door is from God and not the devil. One of God's promises to us as believers is to abundantly bless us and provide at every point in our lives through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 19 But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. This is the confirmation and assurance we have in Christ Jesus, that we will never know lack or grovel at our enemy's table to pick breadcrumbs. God blesses us through different avenues and ways. Sometimes he uses circumstances, angels, humans, or particular negative events to turn things around for our good. However, for every original, there's always an inauthentic replication. Same way God's blessings and provisions abound, the devil also tries to replicate God's provisions by producing his own counterfeit, look-alike blessings. Every good thing comes from the Lord, but not everything that looks good is from the Lord and of the Lord. Some of the supposed good things are Satan's beautifully embellished and wrapped gifts that put on godly appearance. Remember, the devil is the deceiver and will aim to deceive you in your life. That is why we have to be spiritually alert and discerning to be able to recognize God's gifts when they come our way. Here are four ways we can recognize whether an open door is God's or not. Number one, be spiritually discerning. Spiritual discernment is a gift that shouldn't be found wanting in a believer's life. I cannot stress this enough. You need this ability as a child of God. It acts as a means of protection, guarding us from being deceived spiritually. Even if a gift comes bearing the supposed mark of God, whereas it's the devil's, if we are spiritually discerning, we won't be left in the dark about the source. No matter how real or colorful appearances these things take, the Holy Spirit will reveal it to us. This is why we need to have a clear relationship with the Holy Spirit. We need to know that not every open door that presents itself is from God. Sometimes these doors present themselves at a crucial time when we have probably been praying to God for opportunities as such or waiting on Him for answers. So that when they present themselves, we think this is the response or confirmation we have been waiting for. Whenever an opportunity presents itself in our lives, we should always seek God's wisdom and ask if it's really His will for our lives or the devil's bait to get us. Number two, the door that God opens does not contradict His Word. One of the things God will forever honor is His Word. Matthew 24, verse 35. Heaven and earth might pass away, but not a tiny bit will go unfulfilled in His Word. God's Word is the template to live our lives as Christians. Though life can be overwhelming at times, Everything we need to succeed and sail through life has been given to us by God. Any door that contradicts the word of God is ungodly. This is completely non-negotiable. The word of God is final. No matter how convincing or right it might look to us, once it's not opposed to the word of God, then it's not from God. Imagine working in a place where you will be well paid but have to do some ungodly stuff or compromise your faith just to secure your job. You have been praying for a job for some time now and this finally looks like it. The pay is pretty good. It looks like a great opportunity after being unemployed for a long period of time. Even though you need this job and the good pay, it's not right to take it if it is going to jeopardize your fellowship and relationship with God. It is not worth it. Mark 8 verse 36 
For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You should know that not all doors are from God, and if an opportunity makes you commit to go against the teaching of the Bible, then it is not from the Lord. Number 3. You recognize whether an open door is God's or not if it brings you peace. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. God loves us and wants to see us excel in every way. It's His will that all our needs be supplied and our heart's desires to be met. Just like our earthly parents make sure they go extra miles sometimes for their children, so does God even much more. God wants the very best for you. He makes a way even when we think there's no way. It's God's plan that we succeed and thrive. Imagine having an earthly father who is super wealthy and has you as their child. Are you going to suffer luck? Definitely not. God is the creator of the earth and everything that is therein. If our father owns all the riches and doors in this life, rest assured that he will open as many as we want to us his children. But a great sign that the door has been opened by God is if it brings peace. And that doesn't mean the opportunity or door is easy, therefore there is peace. No, God gives us the grace so that we may have peace, His grace is sufficient. Number 4. The door God opens is a channel. It's true that not every one of us will be pastors, preachers, prophets, and evangelists in God's vineyard, but God has placed us in different places as our sphere of influence. We don't have to become ministers or evangelists before we can take territories for Christ. We can start right from where we are. God can use the door He opens and the opportunity that comes our way as a build-up of our faith and further cement our hope in Him. Any door that God opens is not an end on its own. It's always a channel to reach out to other people and spread out our influence as believers, so that your light can shine and the world can see the God that is inside you. There will be so many open doors that will present themselves as opportunities in life. Not all of them are opportunities that are godly or doors that are worth walking into. However, we have to constantly seek God's approval and in everything we seek out to do. In conclusion, we can know if a door is open from God and not the devil through discernment. Secondly, through ensuring the door does not oppose God's word. Thirdly, the door provides us peace through the grace of God. And finally, the door is a channel so that your light may shine.